Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to Undertale. In the last episode, we got to meet some quite weird characters, but they were mostly dogs, so it's a good thing I'm a dog person, otherwise they'd be really weird. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to go through more Pappy vs. Puzzles, like you said, even though this was supposed to be one, even though I didn't fall for it because the spaghetti was stuck to the table, so I couldn't actually eat it. Anyway, warning, dog marriage. Like I said, more dogs, anyway. Where we got now? Ice Cap appears. Jerry came too. So I said Jerry's new. Okay, Jerry. Let's check him. Attack is zero, defense is 30. Everyone knows Jerry makes attacks two seconds longer. What a great hat. Mine. Guys, it's called. Does anyone care? Jerry eats powdery food and licks its hands loudly. Let's ignore Ice Cap. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. Shh, I'm thinking, guys. Shooting more spikes from pipes. Oh, come on! I got a trap there, not fair. Jerry tells everyone else to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. Seems defeated. Fine, I don't care. Guys, it's cold. Does anyone care? Oh, good boys! Wi-Fi here sucks. Is not? Oh, Jerry lets out a yawn. Even the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. There's a red X between two dots. It sounds like it's up here. Where those two trees were. That spot. Do I have to check it or something? Oh, Z button. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Okay, so there's a switch hidden there. Anyway, let's continue on. What's over here? Ah! Uh, dog Grim Reapers! I'm about to die, aren't I? What's that smell? Where's that smell? You're a smell. Identify your smell. <laughs> your smell? I couldn't move during that. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Oh no. Eliminate you! Doggy assault you. Alright, so we got two dog grim reapers. A male and a female, looks like. Dog Emmy and Dog Arissa. Let's check both of them. Attack 14, defense 5. Husband of Dog Arissa knows only what he smells. Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. Oh crap, how am I supposed to avoid this? Okay, go under. Oh, yeah. Boys. The dogs keep shifting their axes to protect each other. Now let's check Dog Arissa. Attack 14, defense 5. It's probably finds her hubby lovey. Smells only. Number two, Nuzzle Champs, 98. Of course we're second. Okay, so don't move with the blue ones. Like the blue hearts, I mean. Boy, good boys! Dogs keep shipping their axes to protect each other. Alright. Wait a minute. Roll around. You sound like a weird puppy. Okay. Roll around the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Don't touch my hot dog. Yeah, 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 I heard. Okay, oh. Go into the axes. Okay, so we're not oh like sights or anything. The dogs may want to re-smell you. Let's re-sniff. Dogs sniff you again. By rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What smells like? Are you actually a little puppy? Oh, they're still trying to kill me. Oh the dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Let's pet them. You pet dog me. Wow, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. So now I gotta pet her, too. 
So I can touch the blue oh, ones as long as they're moving. The ducks may think that you may be a lost puppy. No, it's Pet Dog Arissa. Pet Dog Arissa. A dog that pets dogs. Amazing. What about me? Hey, you already had your turn. Dog of me. Don't get greedy. Oh, good boys! Dark's minds have been expanding. All right, can I spare? Yeah, I can spare them. You won. 40 gold. All right. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, red puppy. All right. Now that I confuse dogs, what is this? Whenever you exit into an O, then press the switch. How do I do that? Can't do that. Oh, I had to walk on them. Oh, there's Papyrus. What? How did you avoid my trap? And, more importantly, is there any left for me? Will you tell Papyrus about spaghetti? I hate it. Really? Wowie! No, he's never enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. So goes on now, and we can go through. All right. Hello again. My brother started a sock collection recently. How sad. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're following me. Human. Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle. By arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is... Worry not, human. I, the great Pabyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try to the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn every X into an other brush as much as the same. It looks like his face turned, like, sideways. Okay, how do I do this? Uh, wait, I know. Why were you following me there? Mm, what this? Yeah, I'm doing this right. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Boom. There we go. Kaboom. Wow, you solved it. You did it all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Nyeh! <laughs> Alright. Oh, hey, Sans. What's up? Good job at solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing that too, I think. <laughs> oh, what have we got here? Tiles! Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. And another character I have yet to meet. You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They do not... They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Uh, a lot of things to remember, but sure. Great. Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah! <laughs> Get ready. Alright, what do we got? Caesar warning. Well, I have no comment about this. <laughs> he just got dizzy from all that. 
Okay, so remember, pink tiles, you can walk in them all you like, and red tiles, you cannot walk in them. So it's a straight path. <laughs> no danger or anything. What is this? The machine isn't working. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. But then if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Ah, <laughs> oh, so I couldn't even eat the spaghetti. Whoa! What the heck is this? It's the broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. Lots of broken snow dogs. And the floor inside is a box of Palmer raisins. Allure of dog. Please pet dog. No safe point. Right? Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog goes with determination. Sorry, I'm burping. I'm rude of me. Anyway. Hello. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. Kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more, and it had more snow, until it was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Okay, we got another puzzle here. Oh, crap. Oh, I found it. What is this? It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. It's a snow papyrus. It's got muscles on it. Anyway, how am I going to solve this? I pretty much just have to do the same thing, which is turn in every X into a no and then press the switch. Okay, I think I got it. And press the switch. Okay, and this got quiet there for a second. Oh, well, I'm sliding. Can't move. Whoa, there's a snowbird on my head. What's down here? Oh, hey, Sans. What's up? What the? You were just over there. So, are you following me? Oh, I bet. Oh, great. Oh, new monster. Gift try. Yeah, I bet it was Sans that was following me. Gift try. Let's check it. Gift try. Attack 16, defense is 8. Some teams decorate it as a prank. Is this funny to you? Oh, crap. Like a boss! Like a boss. Give Trout laments its lack of hands. Alright, decorate as a prank, so let's undecorate it then. You remove a childhood photograph of Snow Jay and his parent. That's a little bad. Oh, it's still doing this. Oh, like a boss! Give Trout is slightly less irritated. And we just keep undecorating it. You move the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. Oh, becoming less extreme. That was like a boss again. Slightly less irritated. Take it again. Remove the lenticular bookmark of a smog teen winking. The weight has been lifted. Your trust problems have been taken away. So can I swear now? Yep. Twenty gold. All right, I'll take that. What's over here? At the door. I like the music though. It's apparently I can't open that for some reason. Okay, so apparently say Sans can be in two places. So what's over here? It's a snow pop. And this is a snow pop. A tiny dog house. Wolf. This, however. Is a snowball. Surprisingly, it's a snowball. <laughs> Seriously, snowball. Of course. Is it really a snowball? Yes. Behold, a snowball. <laughs> What's this? Eh? There's thirty gold inside this. What is this? A snowball, probably. And there's another one right there. Oh, it's got a tail. Ah. Oh. Nice doggy. Whoa, nice big doggy. Oh, another big boss. 
It's the greater dog. And this is a weird sign. Yeah, let's check in. Attack is 15, defense is 8. It's so excited that it just thinks fighting is just play. And it's sleeping. Didn't have to move. Watching you intently. Okay. Let's beckon him over. Call the greater dog. Bounce towards you. Flicking slobber into your face. Well, you know that doesn't wash out. And it's still sleeping. Greater dog is seeking affection. Okay. Then let's play with it. Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Oh. Oh, come on! It changed! Dang it. I know it's still hurting me. Okay, let's pet it. Greater dog curls up in your lap as a pet as is pet by you. Gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Da da da. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. It's still sleeping on the floor. Great dog's patting the ground with its front paws. Keep petting it. Great dog's assignment is creating a power field that prevents petting. Okay, let's play with it. Make a snowball and throw over the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Your dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. That dog is still sleeping. Great dog wants some TLC. And let's pet it again. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. But you still haven't pet enough. Oh crap. Oh, blue. So Pet capacity is 40%. Okay, let's pet again. Pet the seasonably. Pet capacity reaches 100%. Dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. And that dog is still laying there. Doing nothing. Your dog is contented. Alright, so I can spare him now. 40 gold, alright. Oh, it's a small dog inside. A bit of a. Oh, and he licked me. <laughs> he went in the thing backwards. Ah, dogs. Dogs and cats are both weird, but whatever. Or they're both the best. I can please anybody. Anyway, walk across the long suspension bridge. Ah, oh, great, Papyrus again. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. Oh, crap. A maze, a spear, fire. Was that dog from before? There's like a cannon down there and something else. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Oh, it's just another spear down there. And nothing's happening. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. Got nothing. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Oh, even the dog? Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Heh. Heh? Oh, now he's questioning his own laugh. Hey, Sans. I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I will make sure I understand blue attacks. Oh, I think I do. Anyway. Oh, seems we've reached a town. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden Town, sorry. Let's go to the shop. Hello, traveler. I already have a top glove. Manly bandana. That's new. Armor defense. Armor defense. defense. Plus four defense. It has abs on it. <laughs> Let's get that. Oh, crazy about defense. I like that. Thank you for purchase. Bicycle. Heals 11 HP twice. 
So you can use this item twice per buy. So I'll take that. And cinnamon bun, 22 HP, it's my own recipe. I'll take that. Uh, can I sell anything? Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business to say Jiffy. Yeah, that's kind of the thing about some other RPG games. It's like, you could sell all your old crap that you, no one else would probably want. <laughs> but in this game, it doesn't let you do that. Well, except at one shop, but I'm not going to spoil which one it is. Anyway, let's talk to her, since I usually have to talk to everybody. Say hello. Hi. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's is food, and the library says information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. Yeah, if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folks decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh. I don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost who can burrow under the door, forget about it. You are life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down the freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Hmm. Yeah. Bye now. Come again sometime. Alright, now it's... Go ahead and clip the man the bandana. Wait, what does it do? Oh yeah, I read it. What am I doing? It has some wear. It has abs drawn on it. Oh, so it doesn't actually have abs on it. It's just drawn on there. Yeah, let's put it on. The man the bandana. My defense increased. Let's get rid of the faded ribbon. Faded ribbon was drawn away. So I just throw it on the ground, never to see it again. So I just run around the town, fills you with determination. Use the box. Yeah, I do need to put away some items. And get rid of those. Let's put away the spider cider, the spider donut, and... I'm gonna get the stick and toy knife to throw them away. Put the stick on the ground and gave it a little pat. <laughs> toy knife is thrown away. Let's go to the inn. Hello, bunny. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's Snowden's premier hotel. Oh, wait. It said snowed in. I get it. Oops. One night is 80 gold. Let's stay. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. How can I sleep with those guys snoring? They're snoring a song, sounds like. Ugh. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Okay, so I got my age before I started, I think. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum of HP? Oh, yeah, now I have 30 HP instead of 20. Alright, I'll take that. Alright, let's meet the people here. Oh, wait, there's a sign here. Don't want to walk the other side of town? Try the Understow Tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. I don't want to. I want to see what's over here. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Is my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> hey, polar bear. An awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So they started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. Like Christmas. Hey, you, you're cool. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Mm, not really. It makes sense, but. 
Whatever. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there is ever a problem, Skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> anyway, let's go to Grillby's. Oh, there's some familiar characters and some new ones. Let's talk to the new ones first. Hello, Dizzy Bunny. No matter where I go, it's the same menu. Same people. Help, I want new drinks and... Hot <laughs> guys. <laughs> oh, piranha plant looking creature. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. When you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> hey, hello, cool dude horse looking creature. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. <laughs> The jukebox is broken. Then what's playing music? Hello. Grilby said that he offered you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Gee, I wonder why. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Okay, so Undyne is a her, apparently. And she's kind of like Samus, who's a bounty hunter. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Wow. Hello, you. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> That's right. Hello, greater dog. Okay, that was weird. Doggo, how are you doing? I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Hmm. Looks like that matches your look. Doggy me, Dogaressa, how are you doing? You better watch where you sit down in here. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. <laughs> the greater dog. Doggy Dogaressa? We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. <laughs> I can see why. Anyway, hello, mouse scarf creature. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget about our modern crises, dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Hello, uh, whoever you are. We all know the underground's problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. So why be morals about it? Hmm. That explains all the annoyingly optimistic people in the world. Let's play monsters and humans. A rock that can talk. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. How about no, that won't happen. Nothing. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go here. Oh, hello, you. You're naked. And throwing ice into the water for some strange reason. Okay. Everybody has the thing. Don't question it. Wait, what is it? Library. <laughs> Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. <coughs> That looks like Mike Wazowski, a girl version. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumbo, aren't you? <laughs> I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. These books. The school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. <laughs> when monsters get on and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spray it on that person's favorite thing. And their essence will live on that thing. Uh, I am, at, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kinda sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, humans believe human beings are mostly made of water. 
humans, but their physical forms are far stronger than us. They will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. The person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because <laughs> they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If the monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill... Um... Let's just end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We brave, harsh, cold, damp, swamp land, searing heat. So we reached what we now call our capital. New home! Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. The absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Probably sans. It's always just labeled peppers. Yep, the other one is sans. Inside, it's empty. Ah, oh, poor papyrus. So I'm guessing this is their house. There's a big lid that would take me back down over there. What is this? It's locked from the inside. Alright. I think we're going to end this off here because we did quite a bit of exploring in Snowden right now. So Next time on Undertale, we're going to go into the house of the two skeleton brothers and see what they're up to. See you guys then.